Hola, guess who's back? Mm -hmm. So today I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful corset belt out of denim and denim and pleather. Let's do this. So this is what you'll need. Tap measure, some fabric. This is the pleather fabric. Old jeans, some fabric scissors, some eyelets. These are what we're going to use. That's the eyelet machine for adding the eyelet thingies and string of whatever kind you like. Start by turning your pants inside out because you're going to mark them and you don't want the markings to end up. Uh, end up showing mark using chalk. I use normal chalk the ones that I used in school So eh, nothing fancy over here and then carve out I did eight inches because I wanted this particular corset to be long then you are going to do a curve Don't do it freehand like me 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 by the way I'm a your person you can use a plate or something that has like a circular and um, if you want to have like that perfect looking You know whatever ends like the top and the bottom <laughs> Like the circular, you want your circular ends to look perfect. Then what you're going to do, you are going to cut off what you have already measured. And then you are going to lay it on the other leg of the pants. Because you want to have two pieces of the same, the same kind. So use that to um, sketch out. That's a word? Yeah, use it like um, a stencil. Woo, I know, I know these things. And you'll end up with two pieces that look like this. Then at the hem, I'll need you to cut through it so the one that's like the bigger hem the one that's neatest you are going to cut super close to it but don't cut it because this is now going to act as the hem of your corset it's going to be the ending of your corset and you want it to be super neat so you're going to do that and then for the other hem cut slightly away from the hem because you're going to need that to sew in the back of the corset okay then you'll do this to both pieces you end up with two pieces that look like this and that's what you want because this is what you're going to use align them make sure they are perfectly symmetrical if you are about that life if you do not have ocd you do not have to do this but it, it looks cooler when you do that so cut off any excess fabric that's left over and it's time to move on to the next step so for the back you are going to use one of the pieces that was cut out from the two legs that's what's going to act as the back that's what i'm using over there so this is if you want it to be an all denim um, corset belt but if you want to use a different fabric you can use that to cut out a stencil of a different fabric which is what I did for this particular one then lay down the eyelets on the edges of what will be the opening of the corset I had laid down six and I noticed they were too tight too close so I removed one ended up with five and then spaced them out then you are going to use a colored pen to mark out holes um, not holes dots inside the eyelets that's where you're going to cut off and that's where the eyelet is going to go through so just do that on both sides use small scissors if you are using if you are going to use a stretch fabric make sure that you cut a small hole and then squeeze the eyelet in but if it's a tough fabric just cut a small hole squeeze it and squeeze in the eyelet and then just cut as you squeeze it in that way you don't end up with something huge then put the back of the eyelet and then using whatever eyelet machine you have to close off the eyelets you can use it i have this uh, Juakali one which works so you do that to both sides and you'll end up with something that looks like this Oh no, we are making so much progress Ah, So that's going to be the front then I cut out I ended up changing my mind and using this pink one I wanted to use black so this is going to be the back so I as I, I mentioned before you are going to use the piece um, You had before to lay down the stencil then you're going to attach this to the two pieces using some sewing needles Then you are going to sew this if you do not have a sewing machine You can take this to your fundi I know they'll charge you like 20 bob if you have a cool fundi like me Then after that cut off all the fabric that's excess like just lay over the top You want it to be as neat as possible and once you are done you will end up with something that looks like that and there you go bam so that is the all denim one it's like purely denim and then i did one that had half denim and half pleather i really hope you are going to recreate this if you are going to please tag me i really want to see your recreations i love you so much thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in my next ziawa bye